Hey y'all, Ty here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video! I'm actually pretty nervous about making this video and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure, I mean, ugh. Duh, you know what this video is, you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. Today's video, I mean, it's kind of a little different. I kind of already did, like, my coming out story, but this is, I don't know, I, I guess this is me coming out again. I don't know. I really, like, I don't know. I guess so. So as y'all know, if y'all watched my coming out story video, you know that 10 years ago I came out of the closet as a gay boy at the time. Technically I came out as bisexual, but as the years went on I just kind of started identifying as gay because it was easier, it made life more simple, I liked guys a lot more, but that's just it. I never stopped being attracted to girls, I never stopped being attracted to people, but I always just identified as gay. It was just, like I said, easier to do so. I was like, yeah, like, I'm gay. Like, I'm proud to be gay. I'm out. It's been 10 years since that. And I have someone who's very near and dear to my heart who has come out to me, like, a long time ago as being transgender. And it warms my heart. I'm so happy that person can be who they are and know who they are. You know, like, it just, it warms my heart that people can live their life and know who they are and love that and embrace it. Because of that, and because that person does mean so much to me, I have opened my mind and educated myself on different sexual sexualities and genders and just everything of the sort. Upon like a lot of reading and education of myself, educating myself, sorry I'm nervous, I came across something that kind of sparked my interest and this was maybe a year ago, the end of last year, beginning of this year I want to say, and I came across something as I was like reading into different things that really kind of sparked my interest and it kind of clicked in my head and it kind of made me think like, oh hey, this kind of sounds like me? That is pansexuality and <sighs> <laughs> I have only said this to one person and even then it, I didn't mean to do it It was just such a weird circumstance and situation and it just kind of came out But that's the whole point of this video and that is to say to come out to you know be me and say that I am pansexual Like I don't it's so weird to say that out loud. Like I said, I've only said it like once and that was to my boyfriend. I'm not ashamed of that in the least bit. The thing about it is that I've been out for so long and I've been so proud of who I am and so sure of who I am that kind of educating myself on other subjects and stuff and coming to the realization that maybe I'm not a gay man, maybe I am pansexual, that really, like I struggled with that. And not in the sense, like I said, that I was ashamed or that I was like, oh no, I don't want to be pansexual. It was more or less kind of a Along the lines that I knew who I was or at least I thought I knew who I was and that was all changing. I seemed really just to to click with pansexuality when I was reading into it and I was just kind of like wow that sounds like me. Give me a second I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up so that way I sound smart. Pansexuality is the sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction towards people regardless of their sex or gender identity. Whenever I came out I came out like I said as a bisexual person. I felt very comfortable with that. I felt very comfortable with saying that I was a gay man. In the back of my mind though and my being and my heart and my soul I knew that I was still attracted to both men and women and just to me and I've always said that and I said this in my coming out video and I've said this to everyone is I believe in love. I believe love is love. I believe that love is not blinded by who or what you are. I feel like love transcends sexuality. No matter who you are like love is love. I've always believed in that and I've always just been attracted to people as a whole. That's who I am and I've always been like that. Reading and just educating myself it really just kind of clicked for me and I was like wow I'm pansexual. Like I said I've kind of been struggling with it a little bit just for the fact that I was so sure of who I was and then kind of starting to question that that was what I was like whoa but it's such a good thing because I feel so proud of myself and I feel so I don't know like I feel so comfortable in my own skin in saying that I am pansexual and just knowing who I am and what I am it's just it's been like kind of a rebirth and a recoming out and it's been so crazy and like I said I have only told one person so this is me telling the world hi I am Ty I am Ty I I am Groot. Um, my name is Ty and I am a pansexual. I guess really the whole point of this video was just to kind of put it out into the world because I've been like hiding it and harboring it for so long and I've I've been pretty sure of that and who I am for all this year I want to say. I wanted to put that into the world and I just wanted to share that with y'all and everyone who is listening. I know I don't owe anyone anything and that's not what this video is for. This video is more for me. Just be free 
to be who I am and to identify as I identify and love who I love. I really was thinking about doing this for National Coming Out Day, but I thought that would be too cheesy, but I was also really scared. Like, I'm so nervous right now. My anxiety is like, that's why like I can't really, like I'm not looking at the camera and I'm like, oh, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys so much for being here. What better way to come out than on YouTube, I guess. <laughs> And thank you for allowing me to share this with you. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And of course, shameless plug, if you haven't bought my book, Words About You, go ahead and buy it. Link will be in the description below. Until next time, stay rad. Bye.